Hey, it has been a while since I've made a video. I've done lots of things around here, um, but I just haven't had time to make a video. But as you can see in the background, no, I didn't buy a tractor, I wish. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is if you're like me and you spend all your money buying land and you don't have any money to buy a tractor, rent one. As you can see on the hood there, that is from Sunbelt. The model, here's the model number. Um, it's got a loader. Um, I rented a bush hog, as you can see. Um, I think it's a five foot bush hog, I believe. And um, I, uh, I rented a box blade too to fix my driveway. We had a lot of potholes. But the reason I'm making this video is uh, if you can't afford to buy a tractor, um, you can rent them. Um, they're not really that expensive. It's a lot of money. Like I got this for, uh, I picked it up Thursday night. I have to have it back Monday morning. And it was like $750, which sounds like a lot of money. But a tractor like this and a bush hog is probably 20 something thousand dollars. I don't have 20000 I do have uh, $750. Um, but as you can see, I'll... I'll show this uh, this field that I'm bush hogging right now. The weeds. Let's see this one right here. They're almost as tall as me. I'm not sure how big this field is. I'll show you. Um, but it's probably a couple acres, I'd say. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm gonna bush hog it. I just did one back behind me here. Sorry for the shakiness. I've been bouncing around on this thing since seven o'clock this morning um but uh what i'll do is i'll probably bush hog and uh i'll show you um, a little bit more once i get some of it mowed uh one of the things that i can tell you i don't know much about tractors but i do know a little but i just did i've probably bush hog five acres today maybe um but if you look every uh, so often you need to um, stop and clean the grill see this stuff makes this tractor run hot That's about all you do you just stop and uh, scrape this stuff I don't know if you can see me and plant all these seeds all over your fields but uh, I figured I'd just stop for a second thought you know what I ought to make a video I haven't made one in a while um, and uh, show you guys what I did maybe give you guys an idea if you're like me and you're too poor to buy one rent one I don't need one I mean I could use one every day I wish I had one uh, but unfortunately right now uh, my bank account says I can't buy one this is uh this is the next best option. I'll show you this bush hog here if you want. This nice thing about this bush hog, let's see if I can show you, is it's got all these chains and everything on it. Can you see those? Uh, that keeps all the stuff from flying out and hitting you in the back of the head. I think this tractor's like 32, 34 horsepower, something like that. Um, I thought I needed a way bigger tractor. This thing's actually not that bad. Um, I've been looking and looking and looking at tractors, but for what I have, uh, one a little bit bigger than this probably would all be all that I need, like in the 40 horsepower range. I was thinking I needed to be in the 60 horsepower range, but I'm, I'm kind of glad I rented this, um, because I was probably going to spend way too much on a tractor that, yeah, it'd be nice to have, um, but a lot more money buy a little bit smaller tractor that's suited for me and I can buy a couple more implements maybe um, but I'm not so sure I'm a huge John Deere fan but this tractor uh, it does a pretty good job I uh, I was definitely shocked that a 32 horsepower tractor um, could do what I've done with it today I, I moved six tons of gravel with it. I, I have a quarter mile long driveway. I, if 
full of potholes. I box bladed the whole thing. Um, it, it, it came with a six foot box blade. I can tell you that that's too big for this tractor. It, it not even full. It, it does struggle. You have to lift it up and let some of the gravel out. Um, so that definitely makes me think I need to be maybe 45 horsepower, something like that. Uh, full wheel drive is definitely a must for me. Um, some, you know, it's been raining off and on all week or whatever, and uh, without four wheel drive, I would have gotten stuck in a two wheel drive tractor. So I can tell you that since I can't buy one right now, renting this was great, but it's also taught me that uh, I don't need such a big tractor. Um, and uh, I like the small body style of this. I was looking in at like a utility tractor that weighs you know 8,000 pounds or something like that but uh, on some of the hills and stuff a big tractor like that would be scary. This thing isn't very it hasn't tipped or anything like that but since you sit up high on a tractor um, you feel like you're gonna tip even though you're probably not. This thing's got uh, wheel weights on it. It's got two per side. I think them are like I don't know, 50 pounds a side or something. Um, don't hold me to that. I'm not an expert. But, uh, yeah, check it out, man. See if there's a Sunbelt near you. They had all kinds of attachments um, that you could get. You know, and also, if you already have a tractor and you don't have the money to buy an implement, you can rent them. Um, you know, so look into that. Uh, if you're like me and you're... Land rich and tractor poor. All right, this is uh, getting on seven minutes. I'll let you guys go. And uh, I'll probably make a part two video of this, uh, maybe halfway done with this field or something like that. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe. I appreciate it, guys. Bye.